looking forward to seeing boaters out on the river and just making sure that things are clean, drained, and dried properly as they're leaving the river. Invasive Species Bureau Chief Nick Zerflu with the Idaho State Department of Agriculture just finished an early season session of sampling and monitoring the Snake River in the ongoing effort against invasive quagga mussels. And so it's still way too early to tell, but having no detections in May and part of June has been really, really good. ISDA treated the Snake River in 2023 and again in 2024 with a chelated copper product to try and kill the quagga. Sampling and monitoring will continue indefinitely and hot washes will be mandatory here for the next several years. ISDA has doubled its monitoring and inspection efforts statewide and stepped up watercraft inspections. In fact, they inspected 20,000 watercraft across the state in the last month alone. About 10% were deemed high risk and hot washed. So if we can do our best to isolate uh, what's going on here in the mid snake uh, rather than moving it from place to place, that's going to be the key from here on.